Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about what binary is and compare it to decimal and also show you how you can convert between binary and decimal. So, first of all, I want to make this really, really clear. The first thing I want to say is binary is used everywhere in computing because all data in a computer is actually represented in binary. It might be quite hard to believe, but videos, sound, just general graphics you see, the pictures, text and numbers, every single bit of data used on a computer, so on your phone, on your games console, on your laptop, any computer, the data is in binary only. We can see it in the more visually appealing format, but inside the computer you can imagine that as being stored just in binary. Well, what is binary? That might not be clear anyway. So binary is a number system with just two digits, only zero and one. Now, us as humans, we use decimal in our daily lives. It's also called deanery. So if you see deanery, that means the same thing as decimal. Decimal has got 10 digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Our numbers are built from a combination of those 10 digits, probably because we've got 10 fingers and thumbs on both hands. And so the early humans would count using their hands. That's probably why we use 10 digits. But we don't need to use 10. We could use five digits or 100 digits or a million digits. The bigger it gets, the harder it would be, but you could use any other number system with different digits. So we use decimal, but we could use binary in our lives if we wanted to. The issue is binary numbers are quite long, so it would be a bit difficult, but computers use binary. Um, so binary and decimal are equivalent, they just work in different ways. So computers use binary because it is the most simple number system you can have. You cannot use just one digit to represent a number. You must have at least two. So you can't get any more simple than binary. Specifically, in a computer, it's very simple to represent because power being on could represent one, power being off could represent zero. So something like a switch is a way you can represent binary really easily. Either the switch is on or the switch is off. It's very easy to read what is going on. And that's effectively how computers are able to use binary to store data, to process data. So this here you might recognize as a CPU. It's what does all the calculations in the computer. And really a CPU is just billions and billions and billions of tiny switches. So they can either be on or they can be off. When looked at together as a massive combination of those billions of different switches, you are able to represent all of those different types of data I showed on a previous slide. Decimal could be used by computers, but you'd have to make a switch with 10 different levels, which is a bit more complicated, a bit more harder to make very small. Because binary is so simple, you can make tiny, tiny switches, which are actually called transistors. So because binary is used in computers to represent all data, that includes numbers. And thankfully, you can convert between binary and decimal numbers very easily. To convert binary into text or binary into images or videos is a little bit more complex because it depends on how you converted it in the first place, but the numbers are a little bit more simple. So if you were given a binary number like 1011, how would you put it into decimal? Well, let me show you. And let's start by drawing a place value table for decimal. So going back to what, year two maths potentially. So we've got the units column, we've got the tens column, the hundreds column, and the thousands column, and so on and so on. It keeps timesing by 10 each time you go across. That's an awful line. And um, I've got a little table. And now, for example, uh, 5,721 I could put in. We've got five lots of a thousand, seven lots of a hundred, etc., etc. Right? That's how the place value works. And we can do something very, very similar for binary. The binary place value table, though, is different. It does always, always start with one on the far right, but this time we're not times in by 10, we are times in by two. So I go one, two, then two times two is four, four times two is eight, and so on and so on. I can keep doubling forever, but actually in this particular question, I've only got four binary digits, so I only need the first four columns. Each column doubles, which hopefully you can see. Once I've got my place value table, I can write in my number, so 1011. Make sure it matches up, right? If you switch a digit or you do it back to front, 
it wouldn't work. But now you've got your number written in, you might be able to see how we can get the answer. What we do here is we look to see how many um, we've got. So effectively timesing the row by the column, I've got one times eight, which is eight, zero times four, zero, one times two, two, and one times one is one. Now I just add up these numbers. So eight plus two plus one is 11. So therefore, 1011 in binary is 11 in decimal. Let's look at another example here. Let's convert 0011-1110 to decimal. Now this binary number here has got a couple of features I'll just point out. I say features, it's got a couple of things I'll just point out. We've got two zeros at the start. Now those zeros do nothing actually, but often we'll put it as a multiple of four. So you might see zeros at the front, but they don't matter. Here, I've also got a space. Okay, often again, we separate multiples of four to make it a little bit easier to read. So the space doesn't do anything, you can ignore it. Okay, first step, like before, is to draw the table, always starting at one and doubling as you go right to left. So one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128. I'm going to stop here because I've only got eight digits. Um, to be fair, I did say the first two are not that important, so you could leave off um, the last two columns, but I'll leave it here just for uh, the sake of it. Right, I draw in my table like this, and afterwards I put in my number into the table, making sure it's lined up really carefully. If the order is really important, don't switch your lefts and rights. Go left to right when you write it in. Okay, so now, like before, I'm gonna multiply my row by my column, but actually, to be more simple, I can just add up my column headings when I've got a one underneath. So I've got a one underneath 32, I've got a one underneath 16, one underneath eight, one underneath four, and one underneath two. So if you do some mental maths here, 32 plus 16 is what, 48, plus eight is 56, plus four is 60, plus two is 62. So the answer is 62. 11110 in binary is the same as 62 in decimal. Now just to end, I would suggest you try a example yourself. So I'd recommend you pause and try this. I'll show the answer in a second or two. So the answer is 110. Well, I don't know if you got that right. Um, I didn't add in the 128 column, if you're noticing that, because the zero on the left doesn't matter. The zeros within the number do matter a lot, but the ones on the left don't actually matter. So um, check your working, see if you matched up with mine.